Hey, this is Matt with Fetch a Wrench, and I was asked to remove a fuel tank from a schoolie. So this is a video of me removing the fuel tank. There were 12 bolts. Nine of them I got off in six hours. The last three had to be cut off with a plasma cutter. And these are the end, uh, end of the results here, getting cut off. And then I used my quick jack to lower the fuel tank. It's a 100-gallon tank. And this was a massive undertaking. Took me three different days to do this. Here's the fuel lines. Uh, those came off pretty easily. Um, but I took a picture so I knew which a line went to which port. And here we are pulling it out on the dollies. And finished product there. And then we're about to get done, or started with the video. Don't worry about it. All right, let's see if we can get it to move forward some. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Do I have to pick? Uh. Hold on. As soon as we get on the pavement, so. Okay. Should we roll over here? Center one, I can't. Oh, well, as long as we have one on each side. Yeah. I just don't want, want this thing to crash on the ground. Yeah, I know. I got this one on. Yeah. Uh, see if you can come down on this side uh -huh. and lift up a little bit. And I can maneuver this. I'll lift a little bit and see you. Yeah, a little bit closer. Can push it a little bit closer? Yep. Alright. Okay, I'm hitting the muffler now. Okay. I don't want to get these hooked on, so I'm not going to get it. Or you want to wait on those? Uh -huh. And get everything lined up first. Depends how much yeah, we might want to wait. As long, as long as we don't raise it, we'll have the clearance. Yeah. Oops. That, that's the reason why I had that one yeah. there. <laughs> All right, so let me get it. I need a concrete one <laughs> at this point. <laughs> All right, so we can move that out of the way. gonna level out for us, okay? You shall see. Yeah. All right, so let's raise it up a little bit. We'll see and then we'll pull that middle one out, maybe. Think you can get in there now. Oh, lower it back down. Now we got a little bit of wiggle room, maybe. Yeah. And then we'll push you in. Muffler. Is it going to back off like kind of gradually, you think? Or should mm -hmm. we back it off manually? Uh, let's see. It depends. Oh, we're going to back it off. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit, though. Are you able to just slide this a little bit or not? Okay. 
That looks pretty good for my end. That looks yeah, pretty yeah. good for this end. Yeah, it looks pretty good for clearance to wise this end yeah. also. Alright, so now, let's get these lines hooked up. No, this is one of the things I've purchased recently. <laughs> that light? Yeah, it's come in handy. Yeah. Underneath a flame rail now, so now we have time. Shoot, we gotta come back toward us some more. Yeah. And uh, ready to come down, though? No, this thing is just not level on the ground again. Alright. Um, there, there we go. Okay. Looks good here. Okay. I would say third time's a charm, but I don't think it's going to be. <laughs> well, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be in incremental steps with yeah. this thing. Uh, we're looking good there. Yeah, we're looking good here. Oh. I just don't want to lose space to work with up here. Let's, I guess, let's raise it and see how we are, they might lower it. Yeah. Hit something. Oh, we're just on the side of your frame rail, so that's okay. Yeah. Alright, I think this should be okay. Might need to raise that far one a little bit more first. Raise it first? Yeah. I think it was hitting a bolt, maybe? Possibly. Yeah, it's like right up against the frame there. Yeah, it did hit that bolt, so... Uh, let's go back down and get those things attached. Oh. Back when lowered, put it in there. Yep, it did. Probably because more weight was on it. It was level. Yeah, I know. Uh, what did it hit? Oh, we're on the. Must have been on the. Uh, oh, hold on. Can you, can you come down here and lift it so I can get my fingers out? Lift what up? Right here. Hold. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> That's must okay. have been hitting the. Um, the dolly. The dolly, yeah. Uh, let's scoot it in a little bit more. Yeah. We got Louie on the flatter surface. Okay. Alright, now, now let's get these installed. Dang, we're going to have to do that. It's still not going to reach. Still got to raise it. We might need to start off that direction a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Um, get it off. Very close though.
my left my glove last night were pretty much stuck to my hands last night. Oh, I bet. Okay. Ready? Uh, hold on. I'm gonna get my gloves on just in case. Yeah, grab your light out maybe. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna grab my glasses. Yeah, that's why I got my safety glasses on. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're just about perfect lined up down here. So close. Yeah, I think it's kind of kind of um, dolly. Uh, mine's gonna have yours are gonna have to go closer to the wall. Mine's pretty close to um, that's off. Yeah, mine is too. Um let's see here. So this is where I had the idea of the ratchet strap. We can yeah. push. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it just. Yeah. 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 Come my way a little bit, but. Oh my lord. Um, are we putting anything? I don't think we are. I'm not seeing anything down here. Kind of stuck, I think, on this time. Let me... We got, we got clearance on the steps. So we're underneath the bus now. It's hard to see, but... So I'm going to open there. It's going to be sideways. The fuel lines. We had to connect the fuel lines and the fuel pump. We're getting hooked up down there on the uh, step of the bus. So trying to loosen it up from the step so we can get that raised up and we gotta line it up with these holes here so we're close but we got a little bit uh, a little bit of play down there we gotta work with here so close tell me tell me when to raise a little bit okay try it now Probably will. <sighs> that sucks. Um, oh, yeah, actually, here. What do we? What if we? We? Is there anything we can prop uh, the end up high so we don't? I don't. I don't know how high my racing jack would go. That that big jack of mine would yeah. go. So if we could raise it up and keep it up, and then just lower this a little bit yeah. and uh, replace the blocks. That would be best because I don't want to go all the way down if we can avoid it. Uh, yeah. Because we're super close. We're gonna unlock it first. Um. You okay on your end still? Yep, yeah, still. Clear on this, enough on this one. Yeah, once it gets cleared enough, um, just flip them out. That's the crap again. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll get on that scene there though, so it should be okay. And then... Oh. 
stuck. Alright, now this should be good. Um, get under here I'll show you so here are the holes and we have to line them up to that frame rail so we're high enough now but now we got to get this huge cage closer to this frame rail and we're gonna try to figure something out here um, but yeah once we get one started uh, the other end needs to go down a little bit but we should be relatively good <laughs> we'll see here Okay, so what I've done here, I've got a ratchet strap around this cage, up and over, around this frame rail, and watch what happens when I tighten this down. Exactly what I want it to do. So we're inching over to that frame rail, and now we're going to lower it down a little bit and uh, get some bolts through there and see if we can get this thing secured. See what happens here. So, lower it down a little bit. Oh man! Oh yes! Yes! Oh, this is beautiful. So we got it in there. Um, I'll get the other one started. Let's see if I can give you a picture on the back side here. So the back side, the frame rail is, uh, I guess, open or hollow. And then those holes, those bolts just go through those holes and then not on the other side. Um, and they're massive bolts. Those are, I think, one and one eighth inch or one and one sixteenth inch bolts. Or, you know, hex heads what the grade is or anything but they're massive and to take them off it took me six hours to break free um, nine of the 12 bolts I could not get off the other three they were just way 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 too tight and then uh, the owner actually cut them off with a plasma cutter so they were really stuck and let me get those other ones in there Bolts though, and it still didn't break loose. Oh, I know. I was literally hanging my entire weight on a breaker bar, and it still wasn't budding. Yeah, we even had. Alright, other side here. And once the temperature breaks during the week, I can get back out here and start working in this thing again. Yeah, no kidding. So you don't have access, you don't have a way to run the air conditioner right now? Yeah, I need to go get a new RV cord. Mm -hmm. Now I need, I tried hooking it up to my household circuit, but it just keep blowing the circuit. Oh. Uh, it kept blowing the garage circuit also. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, we're going to need to bust out the generator. Okay. Yeah, 
my goal is to get the diesel heater. Last one on this side. And of course we're not tightening them down just yet, just getting the thread started. And then we'll get the other side aligned. And get everything tightened and be ready to go. Now if I Thing project is get the lift. Let me release this and then we'll get this um, over to your side. Okay, release this ratchet strap. And we'll go over to the other side. Ready? Yep. Oh, keep going. Stop. Man, that hurt. It's, it's that one corner that needs to come up. Should we go a little higher or not? Uh, let's see. Try going a little hi higher. Almost. Oh, I got thread thread on it. All right, sweet. Oh, now it's gonna have to come up a little bit. All right. Okay, try to stop. Okay. Let's see if I can. Oh. Oh. Okay, maybe the still can't get it. I might need to use. I think I used the short bolt from the back. Well, let me see if they're making. Uh, yeah. See if my. What if we got those? those two that you have in there or three um, tightened and that bring it over that's possible try that that's possible I can hold that for you yeah please yucks otherwise it's freaking out. <laughs> I see what you're saying. The bottom side is close, but the top side's not. You're right. Um, you want to do this one or you want to do the next one up? I'll try to do the next one up. Yeah, let's get the next one up. Are we any closer? It looks like it. You don't want to get too tight, otherwise you won't have any wiggle room. Mm -hmm. Try to feed one through there now. Okay. There we go. You got you got room for a bolt too. That nut is underneath your GoPro. Oh yeah. 
I can't. Oh, let me see if I can reach it up there. No. But oh, man, we can. Yeah, you turn it. Oh, yeah. Okay, we can get that wrench up there. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're on. Okay, good. Yeah, see how hard that is? I bet if we would have unloaded it, we might have been able to turn those last three off instead of plasma cut them. Maybe. Maybe. Either way, it was, it was still super hard. All right, so do you need three more on the other side then? Do we have three more? Oh, we should. Yes, we do. Okay. Yep, three more. Okay, let's see here. Those should be the last ones. <laughs> then we can tighten them all. Yep. So the last three bolts of the job are right there. And I believe those are the last three you had to cut off. Yeah. Oh, you got one behind you too, yep. So we got four left. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see, show it. Which, one, which way we should have the bolts for it? Uh, this side, you got room on either way, really. Uh, let me see if I can feed it in through this side. Okay. Sorry. Back in. Okay, sorry. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I recommend a, a good cold beer after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh. Okay. Got him? Okay, now, right. we, now we need to start tightening. Yes. Do you, let's do an impact wrench on these things okay. so it'll go much faster. We can torque. I don't know what the torques are. Do you know? Don't have a clue. Okay. Yeah, so hit it. Well, yeah, hit it with that number two, and then maybe hit up three. Okay, number two. could probably go number three and just get it yeah because okay. three yeah I don't think you're gonna break these <laughs> all right let's hit your um, your top one on the outs the other side okay all right I'm on Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I slipped off. Okay. Alright, All right, we're good. We're good? Yep. Alright, you want to go to the next one down on that yep. side? Let's 
go to this outside middle outside middle one. Okay. And then we'll do that bottom one. Sorry, gotta get rid of the mosquito. Okay. Okay. All right, last one. Yes, hold on, I gotta get this guy off there. Jeez, we're stuck. Okay. All right, we're on. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, do you want to wheel over to the other side? Yeah. Okay. The other side. Okay. Yeah. See, we're right next to each other now. Yeah. Uh, let's do the top, top outside one. Okay. Top. Top. This side. Uh, your top right side. Yep. Go top, top left, uh, top left now. Because with this thing, I've been known to break bolts. <laughs> okay. about this thing is the weight of this thing. Yeah, it is heavy. I remember trying it. Alright, uh, left middle, or right middle, sorry. You hit the top two yeah. one more time. Okay. Top right. Uh, top right, yep. Alright, 
it did turn a little bit. Let's do top left now. Okay. Hold on. All right. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I have no idea what those torque to. I don't even have a clue. Um, but it's going to be tight. That's that's super tight. Because you've got tons of weight pulling on it, too. I can't imagine them getting loose. No, I can't imagine them either. All right, man. We, we are done. Amen. <laughs> oh. All right, we'll get these things lowered and out of here. There you go. Oh. There's the cord you need back. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, we're going to lower the quick jacks and then. Do you need the plug? Um, yes. And we will be all set with this project. My brother in law has one. Okay, and then you can rest this wrench on there and get leverage or whatever? Yep. Okay. These guys are here. Without any weight on these, they don't move down very fast. Yeah. Unreal. <laughs> So I don't know if that's the right way to lower a fuel tank on a bus, but that's the way we did it. It was hard, um, but we got it done, and uh, this guy's gonna be happy cruising around the country and the schoolie that he's converting. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, uh, please subscribe. Uh, please subscribe and uh, consider following along uh, for more future videos like this. Thanks a lot.